This is a video about how to find the mode of a Poisson distribution. The mode will be the number of events which gives the highest probability. So the question is, which number of events gives the highest probability in a Poisson distribution? Let's look at an example to start with. Suppose that x has the Poisson distribution with parameter 4. So 4 is the expected number of events. We can work out the probabilities. The probability of having 0 events is 4 to the power of 0 times e to the power of minus 4 divided by 0 factorial, which is e to the power of minus 4, because 4 to the power of 0 and 0 factorial are both 1. The probability of having one event is 4 to the power of 1 times e to the power of minus 4 divided by 1 factorial, which can be written 4 over 1 times e to the power of minus 4, or 4 times e to the power of minus 4. The probability of having two events is 4 squared times e to the power of minus 4 divided by 2 factorial, which is 4 squared over 2 times 1 times e to the power of minus 4, or 8 times e to the power of minus 4. The chance of having three events is 4 cubed times e to the power of minus 4 over 3 factorial, which is 4 cubed over 3 times 2 times 1 times e to the power of minus 4, which turns out to be 32 over 3 times e to the power of minus 4, and so on. The probability that x is equal to 4, if you do the calculation, also turns out to be 32 over 3 times e to the power of minus 4. The probability of having five events is 128 over 15 times e to the power of minus 4. And the probability of having six events is 512 over 90 times e to the power of minus 4. OK, well, you can see from this that there are two numbers of events which have the joint highest probabilities, and that's three events and four events. This is because 32 over 3 is a little bit more than 10, and that's higher than all the other coefficients over on the right-hand side. It's obviously higher than 8 and 4, but it's also higher than the others. 128 over 15 is just a little bit more than 8, and 512 over 90 is just a little bit less than 6. So we can say that the Poisson distribution with parameter 4 is bimodal, and the two modes are 3 and 4. But before we move on, there's a pattern here, and if we look at the pattern, we can work out a method for saying really quickly what the mode is. Look at how the probabilities change going up the number of events. Going from 0 events to 1 event, we multiply by 4 over 1. Going from 1 event to 2 events, we multiply by 4 over 2. From 2 events to 3 events, we times by 4 over 3. From 3 events to 4 events, you times by 4 over 4. From 4 to 5, you times by 4 over 5. And from 5 to 6, you times by 4 over 6. Now this explains why 3 events and 4 events give the joint highest probability. From 0 up to 3 events, the probability keeps increasing, because when you times by 4 over 1, or 4 over 2, or 4 over 3, you're multiplying by a number that's bigger than 1, and that causes the probability to increase. Going from 3 events to 4 events, we're multiplying by 4 over 4, and of course that's multiplying by 1, so the probability doesn't change. Going from 4 events to 5 events to 6 events, the probability decreases because we're multiplying by 4 over 5 and by 4 over 6, which are both fractions smaller than 1. And whenever you multiply by a fraction smaller than 1, the answer gets smaller. Now generalising from this, we can say that the probability of having x events is lambda divided by x times the probability of having x minus 1 events. And if you think about it, this means that if x is less than lambda, in which case lambda divided by x will be greater than 1, the probability of x events will be greater than the probability of x minus 1 events. So the new probability will be greater than the previous one. If x is equal to lambda, then lambda divided by x will be equal to 1, 
and the probability of x events will be the same as the probability of x minus 1 events. Finally, if x is greater than lambda, then lambda divided by x will be less than 1, and the probability of having x events will be less than the probability of having x minus 1 events. The new probability will be less than the old one. So when x is less than lambda, the probability will keep increasing. When x is equal to lambda, it will stay the same. And when x is greater than lambda, the probability will decrease. And this explains why when x is equal to lambda, you get two joint highest probabilities, where x and x minus 1 are both modes. Let's return to our example to see how this worked. Here, lambda was equal to 4, and 3 events and 4 events gave us the joint highest probabilities. Up until 3 events, the probability kept increasing. From 3 events to 4 events, it stayed the same. And from 4 events onwards, it kept going down. In general, we can say that if lambda is a whole number, then the Poisson distribution with parameter lambda will be bimodal. That means that there will be two modes. And the modes are lambda minus 1 and lambda. If the expected number of events isn't a whole number, if lambda isn't a whole number, then the situation is a little bit different. Here are all the probabilities for the case where lambda is equal to 4.1. This time, if we look at how the probability is changing, this is what we get. Here you can see that the probability will increase from 0 events to 1 event, from 1 event to 2 events, from 2 events to 3 events, and from 3 events to 4 events. Because 4.1 over 1, 4.1 over 2, 4.1 over 3, and 4.1 over 4 are all greater than 1. After that, the probability decreases. If we go from 4 events to 5 events, or from 5 events to 6 events, we're multiplying by a number that's less than 1, because 4.1 over 5 and 4.1 over 6 are both less than 1. So this shows that in this situation, the mode is 4, because that's the number of events with the highest probability. In general, if lambda is not a whole number, then the Poisson distribution with parameter lambda is unimodal. That means that there's only one mode. And the mode is the greatest whole number that's less than lambda. Let's look at some examples to finish with. We can use the rules that we've worked out to answer these extremely easily. First of all, suppose that x has the Poisson distribution with parameter 9. This is a whole number, and when lambda is a whole number, we know that we'll have a bimodal distribution, where the modes are lambda minus 1 and lambda. So in this case, there'll be two answers, the numbers 8 and 9. Secondly, suppose that x has the Poisson distribution with parameter 6.13. 6.13 is not a whole number, and we know that when lambda isn't a whole number, there'll be one mode which will be the greatest whole number less than lambda. So here we're looking for the biggest whole number that's less than 6.13, and that's 6. Finally, suppose that x has the Poisson distribution with parameter 0.45. Well, again, we're looking for the greatest whole number that's less than 0.45, and that's 0. OK, I hope this helps you to understand how to find the mode of a Poisson distribution. Thank you for watching.